Hello YouTube friends. It's Saturday morning but it's, it's actually quite dark so I've lit a few candles here and there. Uh, Rita the cat doesn't seem to mind having a couple of candles next to her. So I'm, I'm having my morning coffee and I thought I'd check in with you guys and tell you what's been going on here lately. It's um, a couple of months now, maybe seven weeks since I was in hospital with that um, strange thing, whatever was going on, which turned out to be vertigo. I'm mostly 100% better from that now. I still get a little bit wobbly, still get a little bit tired, but I um, have been pretty good, really. Uh, I'm driving again now, which is great and um, just not quite walking once around the dam, but going for little walks, so that's good. Now, I've had a lot of help, as you've seen. If you've been watching the last uh, few weeks, I had uh, some wonderful help from all three of my family, my children and their families. And um, so you'll have been treated to uh, John and Anna going up to the Scottish islands, the Hebrides. Uh, you'll have been treated to Martha and Adam and beautiful baby Agnes, uh, who's two now, not so much a baby, uh, and uh, all the produce from their allotment. And then just last week, uh, wonderful Rita, who uh, made those um, really tasty looking uh, cheese breads, which she's promised to make when she comes up to see me next, so that I can try them too. They look really good and they freeze really well. So if you made uh, that many, uh, you could keep a couple out and put the rest in the freezer, which just sounds like a really good idea, doesn't it? So, um, just let me have a bit of coffee. I'll edit out the coffee. <laughs> so the whole time that I've been recovering, getting better, I've been doing all sorts as well. And I've been doing all sorts with the help of Anna and John and Martha and Adam. Uh, Owen and Rita live in London, so they've just been supporting me at distance. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And so what I'd say is that going forward, there are going to be uh, a few changes that you'll notice to the scheduling here. But the first one happens next week. And um, so what I'm going to say, which is I don't often say this, but um, subscribe and put on your notifications bell, because from next week, we're going to be posting a video every day, Anna and I. Uh, from Tuesday, there's going to be a video every day. If you've been here around here for a while, you'll remember that last year I did my Christmas boxes. I've already started to put some pictures over on Instagram to explain to people what's going on there with the Christmas boxes. But they're happening again. We've had to push them back a little bit, the, the release date of them. So they'll be a week later than I would have liked them to be. But uh, they're going to be uh, coming next Tuesday. We're going to be showing you each of the people, people's art or people's work that's featured in the Christmas boxes. Uh, Anna and I have made a video about each one of them. There's going to be a video every day from Tuesday. So definitely click that notifications bell because I wouldn't want you to miss any of those. And then the Christmas boxes, um, they will be going live on the 14th of November at seven o'clock Greenwich Mean Time because our clocks have gone back now so we're now on Greenwich Mean Time not British Summer Time. So there's a little date for your diary but definitely the first date for your diary is next Tuesday because I think you're going to really enjoy what Anna and I have put together for you and John as well he's helped too uh, in order to um, let you know about all the things that happen in the Christmas boxes. I'm very excited. Now, I haven't had the strength or the energy to do all of this myself, but it's been really nice to be able to offer a bit of employment to local people. So there's, we've had some help in the shipping room, uh, doing some of the packing and some of the... Uh, you'll see if you watch the videos, uh, you'll see what, what's been happening. We've also had Frank the dog, who's been here uh, helping. Not helping the cats so much, because the cats and the dog, they don't get on terribly well. I know there are some cats and dogs who get on brilliantly, but sadly... Rita, Sadie and Frank are not those cats and dogs. <laughs> Rita here, the cat, it's very confusing isn't it? Having a beautiful daughter-in-law and a beautiful cat both called Rita. Anyway, Rita, the cat, has been very unwell um, and uh, she's been to the vets twice now having injections and, uh, and having you know sort of like a once-over from the vet. They've been great with her. 
and she's got a horrible allergic reaction uh, uh, that's all over her body and uh, so I've been looking after her uh, away from Sadie because Sadie. because Sadie's a bit of a greedy uh, a greedy eater and once when I feed the cats she just jumps straight up there and, and eats the lot so I've been feeding the cat Rita over here on the windowsill which she really quite likes uh, because it means that she gets a, a full share of her food. Uh, the two of them are sadly at daggers drawn and so Sadie spends a lot of time um, glowering at Rita and Rita spends a lot of time cowering from Sadie so it's, it's not a good cat dynamic at the moment. That little ginger kitten went um, a few weeks ago to his rightful owner and he's gone now uh, and that's uh, made it a little bit calmer here cat wise but this uh, open warfare between these two is not very pleasant I have to say. So while I've been working towards getting a bit better uh, to start with I couldn't knit because I could see two of everything but I've been working on this again. Uh, this is my big mitered square blanket and I can say big now because it actually is getting really rather massive. Let's just be careful not to lose the stitches I did last night. And so I'm just trying to decide how big it should be. It's so colourful. I'm really, really enjoying. See, it's too big to even show you in one piece now. But I have been uh, working along um, on this. I've nearly finished this row here. One more and that row will be finished. And um, I think it's going to go over the back of the sofa in the sitting room, maybe, or in the shipping room. But I have really been enjoying working away on that. Uh, huge monstrous thing. It's hard to know when to stop isn't it? Because you think oh I'll just do one more row or I'll just make the edge a little bit wider. So I've really been enjoying that one and I know that some of you were following along with a mitre square blanket so if you've got any to show me stick them over on Instagram and in the show notes I'll put the hashtag that you should put so that I can see those. Sad to say I haven't got on very much further with this uh, which is um, kind of it got buried underneath several other projects. I've done that much of the sleeve hole, which will be steaked. I'm still a bit nervous about steaking, uh, but um, it's the shaping's coming along nicely. I was talking about this one months ago, uh, and it's going to be a waistcoat. So there's, I've only done that much of the sleeve so I'm going to have to do quite a lot more until it reaches up to the shoulder seam. But that one's taken a bit of a back seat sadly uh, during these last few weeks. But it's right here, I can pick it up again, it's this beautiful variegated wool called um, Kayunai. I'll put a link to that in the description below if anybody wants to uh, check out their, their wool. It's absolutely beautiful. I really, really like the gradations of colour that you get when you use this wool. But yeah, I think that one's something that maybe I'll pick that one up around Christmas when I'm not doing quite so much <laughs> uh, to do with Christmas boxes, to do with this project, which I can't tell you about because that's going to be a video coming soon, but they're right here in front of me. Uh, and uh, it's to do with Agnes, so I'll tell you about that one. This thing behind me, I put the binding on it um, just a few days ago and stitched the binding on and that was uh, that was nice to finish. This one's a project I've been doing over on Patreon, it's one of the alongs uh, that I've been doing there and it's finished now and uh, it's ready to go to its new owner but I really like it so I'm just keeping it for a bit longer so I can look at it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, some of the indigo dyeing that I was doing in the summer which we'll hear more about next year because I've got this big plan to do lots of um, projects with indigo. So I've got a lot of plans and projects going forward, but um, some of them for me, some of them for you. We'll have to wait and see about those. For now though, uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day up in the shipping room doing a bit of folding and a bit of rolling and a bit of packing uh, so that um, we keep on schedule with our Christmas boxes. I'll put a movie on or some music uh, up there and uh, it'll be I make a drink to take up with me and it'll be a really, really cosy day. <laughs> so I'll say one more time, pop your notifications bells on so that you, um, from the 9th, which is next Tuesday, I think, I think that's right, you won't miss the, the, the daily videos. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing all of those with you. I think you're going to really enjoy them. Also over on Instagram, uh, Anna and I are doing a daily thing over there as well. 
So, um, I'll see you on Tuesday, which is not a usual day for me to say that, is it? It's usually a Sunday, but I'll see you uh, uh, on Tuesday. I uh, look forward to welcoming you back to the last homely house then. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>